St. George's College is a Roman Catholic high school based in Kingston, Jamaica. It is an all-boys institution except for its pre-university level. St. George's College has a rich history of football and considers itself one of the top institutions at the schoolboy level. St. George's College has won the Manning Cup Trophy 22 times, the Walker Cup 8 times and the Olivia Shield 14 times. An impressive trophy cabinet has helped brand St. George's College as a footballing powerhouse. They won their first title in 1912 and were a dominant force for many decades, producing many international stars who reaped great success after winning the Manning Cup. Although St. George's College was always considered a threat and never a walkover, the under-19 program suffered a drought of success during the 1990s. After winning the Walker Cup in 1993, they failed to acquire a single trophy for almost 15 years. This became devastating for a program that was once dominant and had multiple successes in the under 14 and under 16 programs. In 2008, St. George's College were Manning Cup champions. Once again, as the light blue Dragon Slayers looked like the masterful football school with a sharper attacking style filled with speed, precision and quick passing. Coming in St. George's, here is Harrison, needs a good ball! Here's Lewis! Andre Lewis! The champions are in front! 29 minute card here at the National Stadium! And all of a sudden, the scoreline has a familiar ring to it. St. George's College. Always finding a way. The resurgence of the football program has positively influenced the attention the school has received and has instilled a refreshing amount of school pride. Well, anything that's important to the students is important to us. They're our customers and we're trying to shape young men that are very well rounded and that includes in the area of sports and so football is important to that cause and so it's very important to the school. Very important. Here they come again. St. George's are out of sight! Delano Barnes saw that they hide in defense, went to sleep. He was wide awake and the net was bulging for a second time in the 32nd minute. St. George's College 2, Hyde nil. But you can't expect to play and referee the game at the same time. You've got to play that whistle. And if you don't, you're likely to be punished. But that was struck with tremendous force in the upper right. But I always ask, you know, why do you want to come to St. George's? And the first thing most of them say is that we excel in football. Into Kendall Anderson. Played through. Can they slam the door shut? You bet they can! St. George's College are many Cup champions of 2012. Right that down. With 14 minutes left in the contest, Henry gets the goal. That puts St. George's College well, well out of sight. And that's his second goal of the season. And it could turn out to be the most important. Well, uh, Heidel trying to be positive, trying to attack. Left in at the back. 
and St. George is able to exploit that good finish uh, entering the penalty area and hit it from a couple of meters after we entered, a couple of yards after, after we entered. No chance. People take note of us. Um, even though I sort of don't like the label of being called a football school because we are a school which focuses on students and all the things they're interested in. But I have to admit that we have become noted as a football school and, um, and, and that has had tremendous benefit. The number of scholarships, um, people come to our matches from locally and abroad to observe the students to, to find talent. Um, but in addition, we've had additional funding coming in. Um, we have had, um, we have, so, so people have, have taken note of us um, because we're doing well in football. Since Neville Bell's return, the school has won nine trophies at the under-19 level and has had many players called to represent the country at the youth and top level. Many students have also left the program to join colleges and professional football clubs. With the wealth of talent that has come out of the program, the only thing left for the Light Blues is a direct affiliation with a world-class club. One that thrives on youth development that can benefit from some of the best crop of youth talent the Caribbean has to offer. Taking the passion and determination of the light blues from Jamaica to the world. Keeper is committed. This could be it. Finally, their first goal in and under 17 World Cup. What a significant moment. Barnes is the player. Sagrada came, found himself caught in no man's land. Perfect pullback and a volley dispatched into the back of the net.